You know, I was looking back at some of my older videos to YNG Woodsta, and while I thought they were okay, I felt that I could have been a little more thorough on some of the points. As you guys probably know, I am a pro-LGBT person. Even though I myself am not gay or transgendered or bisexual, I do support these groups. So of course, one of the first and dumbest objections I have to hear is, why are you so adamant about supporting gay people? You're not gay, so why do you care? Why does it matter? And I have to retort by saying, well, why does it matter if black people don't have rights? Why does it matter if people can't do drugs legally? Why does it matter if people somewhere in the other part of the world are dying and are having their rights taken away from them while you sit here comfortable? If it doesn't affect you, why does it matter? Because I care about these people. That's why it matters to me. The first thing that the other side tries to do is attempt to make LGBT supporters look uh, bad and they say that well you guys aren't concerned about their rights this is just an emotional response uh, and I have to say that's not exactly true this is solely a rights issue you don't have to be all emotional to want everyone to have the same rights that everyone else should have of course the spearhead of those rights that we're trying to fight for is gay marriage and the rights for gays to have their marriage called marriage and not civil union. And of course this doesn't stop um, the anti-gay population by saying, well we just want marriage to be a sacred word, blah blah blah. You guys are full of horseshit, really. First of all, if you are religious and you are anti-gay, because a lot of religious people are, not saying you have to be religious to be anti-gay, but if you are, I don't give a shit. Second of all, Marriage has been around much longer than many other religions, so that kind of throws your whole argument out the window. But as for keeping the word marriage to only mean man and woman, that's pretty intolerant, isn't it? I mean, what if um, back then you saw that people didn't want marriages between white and black people to be called marriages, but instead called civil unions? Or what if you saw that Asians and white people were to be called civil unions. I mean, this is the same type of bigotry we're seeing here. And it's no good excuse to say that, oh, well, the established dictionary definition is between a man and a woman. That is a very poor excuse to show bigotry against someone. Moving on, how about one that YNG Woodsta proposed? Um, that men were not designed to have gay sex, for example. And I'd have to say, well, design is very subjective. It is a subjective term used to describe patterns that we are, impose on what we see in front of us. So it's not necessarily a strict guideline and something that we must abide by. So saying that your penis was designed to do something um, is an incorrect statement at all. Our penis wasn't designed by anything. Design is subjective. Our penises are just our penises. We can do whatever the hell we want with them. If we want to procreate, then yes, our penises should go into a vagina. But if we want to have sex, then you can do with your penis whatever your imagination dictates you to do. Of course, moving on from this sex topic would be the argument that we weren't designed to have homosexual sex, and that homosexual sex is incorrect sex. So, for example, a man's penis was not designed to fit into a man's behind because of all the diseases we can contract. And, okay, so then you'd be against anal sex, wouldn't you? You're not only against homosexual sex, you're against anal sex. So, why are you bothering trying to stop homosexuals from having anal sex and not trying to stop heterosexuals from having anal sex? A common objection I hear is that gay men have a higher rate of transferring STDs than straight men. Okay, then you'd be against STDs now, wouldn't you? Not against gay rights. And if I were to apply that same logic, I'd say that a person like me who hasn't had sex yet and who wants to not have sex until they're getting married, because I'm old-fashioned like that, so a person like me would technically have a much less chance of getting an STD than someone who is either married or who has sex on a regular basis, straight, gay, or otherwise. Therefore, we should not allow anyone to get married because that would help stop the rate of spreading STDs. 
You see why this kind of logic is really flawed? Oh, here's a common objection I hear. Um, allowing gay people to marry will lead to a slippery slope of incest and pedophilia and rape and etc, etc. Think of whatever horror you want to input here, etc. First of all, slippery slope fallacy right off the bat. Second of all, you got no evidence to support that assertion. Third of all, flush this out for me guys. How do we get from point A here in reality of maybe we should allow two consenting men to do what they want to do in the privacy of their own bedroom to point Z in like alternate reality land where we say let's just rape that kid over there and let's fuck that dog over there and let's just rape people on the streets like please just draw me the logical connection there are also rumors that homosexuals have this agenda that they want to make all kids gay well i've never heard of a homosexual who wanted that and i don't think i ever will if you have a problem with that, then you have a problem with the homosexuals or the people trying to push this homosexual agenda that you speak of. You don't have an actual problem with homosexuals getting rights, now do you? And you shouldn't have a problem with homosexuals having rights if all you're concerned about is the fate of the children. Yeah, 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 I've heard it all. Think of the children. You don't want little Billy Bob to see his friend's dad get married to uh, another guy and see G Billy Bob turn into a gay person, now do you? Like, who cares? There may be some arguments that I didn't mention or f maybe neglected to mention. Of course, there's always the argument that, oh no, supporting homosexuality is just going to make everyone want to have more sex. And I kind of left that argument out because I just thought it was too idiotic. Like, that's based on the whole generalization of these homosexuals being promiscuous sluts all the time. And that I left out. But in case I missed out on a particularly important argument that has been put forth by the anti-gay community, I'd appreciate it if you guys let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and may the truth always be heard.